on everyone, Jerome here and welcome, welcome to an awesome, awesome Minecraft live stream. Everybody coming at you where we are going to be doing something absolutely wild, crazy, and different. What we're going to do today is what I call the how to play Minecraft 1.4 early and you're probably wondering what is that all about so if you didn't tune into minecon earth they're doing a voting thing today at the minecon earth live stream trying to decide which biome they want to update whether it be the savannah the taiga or the desert now all the things that they talked about updating however are things that you can actually find in mods that already exist in minecraft so i decided to do a little bit of fun digging and i found a bunch of mods from minecraft 1.10.2 that allow you to do all these cool and crazy things that way people who are eager for all these cool updates to come out or maybe your biome didn't get picked well guess what you can still do it by doing some of these crazy cool mods so let's step on in and let's get started now before we get into it as well i just want to say that although my streams normally are about 40 to 50 minutes long this one's obviously going to be a little bit shorter because there aren't that many things to run through but i thought once again it's a really cool thing and it's not very often that we talk about the mods that we use in videos um so i figured this would be something new different and fun for us to really take part in so let's get on into it so first things first we are in the desert now in their trailers for this update and by the way if you haven't seen them i'm going to link all the trailers in the description so you can watch them but in the trailer for the desert update what they talked about doing was having meerkats uh in in the desert and they also were talking about adding in some cool palm trees now first and easiest of all would be the palm trees so in order to get the palm tree mod all you need is a really cool mod that came out a, a very long while ago. I think they even have versions going back to 1.7.10 called Tropicraft. Now, Tropicraft allows you to spawn in palm trees like that. So that's a palm tree sapling. We can use bone meal then and boom. But they're also naturally occurring as well. So I didn't plant all these trees. They just kind of came with the uh, the mod once you install it. So Tropicraft, really cool. And if you're wondering, it doesn't just stop there. Tropicraft has so much awesome stuff, including bamboo that you can use to craft all sorts of really Really cool houses and different types of things like that. Uh, there's also different pickaxes. There's different types of ores. There's different weapons. Uh, there's even umbrellas in the mod. So that's the cool part about it is although yes, all we're trying to look at is ways to make Minecraft 1.14 happen early. You can also have some fun if you already have that mod installed. And start adding cool things like umbrellas in. So, really cool and easy way to get the palm trees that uh, some of you may have been looking for in Minecraft. Now, the next thing they talked about was super, super cute is meerkats. So, meerkats are part of the extreme animal mod. Now, there's tons of different mods out there. Uh, I think they go from mo creatures all the way down to one mod. I think it's literally just called more animals. <laughs> so, you can find a bunch of them. We use the extreme animals mod, though. I was one of the only ones that had meerkats in it. Because meerkats aren't a super popular animal. Uh, not that I know of, anyway. Uh, so because of that, it was kind of hard to come by a mod that had it. But, lo and behold... We do have the cutest little meerkats ever. Take a look at these little things. So you can spawn them in, you can have fun, uh, but yeah, this mod has meerkats in it. Now, of course, you don't just have to spawn them in. The cool part about it is that different types of mobs that are custom will naturally spawn in in different environments. So you can randomly come across a meerkat. That is something that could possibly happen, uh, but of course, it's a little rare because the Extreme Animals mod adds in so many custom mobs and animals. Like this thing. I don't even know what you are, but but you exist. Although I probably can just middle click on you. A roadrunner! Oh, get out of here! That's really cool, actually. See? So there's like all sorts of wild creatures out there. So that's another really cool one as well, is with the Extreme Animals mod, uh, you can find all sorts of wild creatures, and, and it's just something really cool. So like I said, the, the, the best part about this stream, I would say, is not just the ability to play Minecraft 1.14 oh, basically early. I mean, it's not exactly Minecraft 1.14, obviously, but um, the cool part about it is the crossovers with the different mods. So, you know, you wanted Palm trees you get palm trees and all sorts of custom different architectural things you can work with like umbrellas you wanted uh the uh meerkats well you also get xyz different types of crazy animals like the roadrunner well all right so that's it 
for the desert. Now moving on to the savannah biome. The savannah biome didn't have much changed at all. Um, the one thing that we did notice it had was obviously larger trees and ostriches. So in order to uh, get the ostriches, we use the extreme birds mod, which is a little different. It's basically the extreme animals mod, but with birds. Um, and uh, of course you can spawn those bad boys in and there you go. You got ostriches. Now ostriches are a very popular animal. I'm sure most people have seen at zoos or heard of ostriches uh so, or even there's even ostrich farms believe it or not like i'm pretty sure in the u.s <laughs> like they, they they not naturally occurring there of course but people do have them um and the thing is is that there are tons of mods out there like i think mo creatures might even have ostriches in it it's uh there, there there's a lot of mods out there so like the meerkat Tons of different animal mods. You don't have to use the extreme birds one, but you can. That's what we use for it. And there they are. These awesome, cute little ostriches. And really cool as well, if you tap on them twice, just like a baby uh, cow would spawn in, you can get baby ostriches. And they're really cute. Hello, little guys. So that's how you get them. The extreme birds mod, I don't know if there's a way to actually check and see. Let me see. Is there a way to see all different crazy mobs yeah like look at all these things so this is a combination of extreme birds and the extreme uh mobs or extreme animals but it just goes on and on even grizzly bears the list goes on of all the cool things you can get now next is the mahogany sapling which interesting enough is also part of the tropicraft mod another cool thing you can get from that single mod uh and the best part is it looks very similar to the trees that are in the trailer that uh that mojang released so if you take a look this this is the sapling right here. Then we place some bow meal down. Boom! Give it a good old growth. And as you can see, it basically spawns these really tall trees that have a lot of leaves at the very top of them. So the mahogany sapling was one that I found to be fairly similar looking in appearance to the trees that they were talking about. So that's always really cool. But other than that, though, that is pretty much the savannah biome. I know, once again, not the most changes in the world, but just something that I thought would be really cool to showcase and, and show off. So, last but not least, we have the taiga biome. Now, in order to get to the taiga biome, I saved... I think I saved the coordinates right here. Is this the one? Wait. No, maybe not, actually. Let me do slash TP then. And I think it was 5,141 by 80 by 150. There we go. So there is the taiga biome. So this is the last but not least biome of them all. And we found a couple cool ways to really incorporate those changes that Mojang was talking about. So first things first, in the taiga biome, they talk about foxes. Now, there are so many mods out there, same as the ostriches, that add in foxes. Like, like there's too many to name. So we kept it on with the extreme animals mod. Uh, and with this mod, pretty cool, is it comes with with four or sorry three different types of foxes so you have a regular fox like so you got your nice red foxes oh oh no uh well the campers don't like foxes apparently well that was sad i don't know why the campers don't like the foxes but then there's also arctic foxes which are personally some of my favorites they look so cute so those are the arctic foxes and you can also make little baby ones look how cute that is little baby arctic fox and same with this fox, the regular fox, though, unfortunately, you can't make babies of. Oh my gosh, no way. The baby fox follows the Arctic fox dad and mom. Oh, that's so cute. And then finally, you have fennec foxes. And fennec foxes are just mega, mega cute. They don't have baby foxes of them either. Probably because they're already so tiny. Oh my gosh! What did that camper just do? He literally just ran up and killed him for no reason. Well, that's really sad to see. Yeah, that was not necessary at all. So, along with that, one of the other things that they talked about was adding in campfires to the, uh to the taiga biome so in order to do that all you need is you need one little campfire like so and a bunch of coal so you put this down and then you right click put the coal in and boom it takes a lot of coal to start up and then it doesn't use it that much it takes 20 coal then after that it slowly but surely keeps on going and you have a nice old little campfire right there simple as that so pretty cool small little update but visually i mean 
it adds a lot to a world. I really, I really like it. I, I think it is a very cool little update. Now, also, they mentioned having blueberries or just berries in general. So because of that, we actually threw in something that's more decorative than anything else. Uh, and what that is, is blueberry pie. So in the deco craft mod, you can get pies that you can put down and they look absolutely amazing. So that is a blueberry pie bringing in berries. Also in the tropic craft mod, they have coffee berries as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. So you got coffee berries, blueberries, and one quick thing that I want to talk about as well with the deco craft mod is you don't even have to stop there. The deco craft mod is so amazing if you are someone who likes to build really cool creative things i mean just take a look at all the different things you get like for the uh, well basically it breaks the, them down into like a sub mod so there's like props and things like that you can go all the way between bedrooms different types of food right here uh i mean there, there's so many decorative mods um uh, mods out there so there's deco craft and the props mod i would check out both and you'll pretty much find any decorative thing that you want um um, and yeah, so I found that to be super, super interesting and something you should definitely take a look at. And the other thing I want to talk about was the camping mod as well. So as you guys saw, we have the camping mod installed and that's the mod we use for the campfire. And with that mod comes all sorts of cool things. You don't only just have wild NPC campers. You also have access to Arctic Foxes and Grizzly Bears. You can get grill kits as well. I mean, if, if you wanted to have a grill kit, that is like a grill. Like, look at that. How cool is that? Uh, then there's also fur armor that you can apply to yourself. So look, how cool is that? We look like we're out in the tundra somewhere trying to survive. Uh, then there's also sleeping bags, tents, and lanterns. I mean, the list goes on and on. It's something that you should definitely, definitely take a look at. And then way over here as well, you can find naturally occurring tents along with campfires. Just like this, which is really cool. So if you wanted to, you could explore the world. You can find these cool tents. And uh, and I don't know. I think it's cool that they are naturally occurring. It really does add to the, the whole feel of Minecraft when uh, when you just randomly run into things like that. But all in all, everyone, that is more or less how you can play Minecraft 1.14 early. A little bit of a different stream, I know. It's been shorter and everything like that, and we normally don't get into the details of the cool mods that we use, but I decided this would be something cool for us to do. Uh, it's something that can help out you guys out there that may have voted for one biome that didn't win. So, this is how you can play them all. Those are all the different mods that we're using for it, uh, and I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you guys want to see more things like this and apart from that take care we'll see you later bye bye my friends